Hello and welcome back to another episode of Farm and Life at La Forge. Today we are getting ready for the maize harvest. So the maize harvest video will actually be out on Tuesday. So make sure that you click into that at, um, so it'll be at six o'clock French time. So that's five o'clock Irish and English time. Um, so this year, dad is going to be showing you now the um, tractors that we're going to be using. So we'll bring you on a tour around the tractors and trailers that we'll be using for the maize harvest. And um, we'll also be using the Manitou. We have a new contractor this year coming in and one of the neighbors is coming with his class tractor as well. Just after he shows you around the tractors, he's actually going to, I'm going to show you the footage that he took. He probably took maybe about a week, a week or two ago. Um, so it was a little bit sunnier then as well. So it's showing you around the cattle, the cows and the heifers that have calved so far. And there's obviously been a lot more calved now since this footage. But um, yeah, it'll show you a bit more about the, the start of the calving season. It was probably week three or week four into calving. Also, I will leave the link to my Etsy shop down below in the description for anybody who wants to order any clocks or anything personalized gifts for Christmas time. Um, I know that transport is a little bit delayed these days, especially and just the time to make the clock as well if you want to be sure to get it before christmas probably around now beginning november will be the time to order so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i will leave you now with dad as always if you do don't forget to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more episodes about our farm and lives here in france Okay, Jess. Here is the La Forge fleet for the maze. There's the maze over there. It's not too bad, it's better than last year. So there's the TL, the 83, and the 82. Ten. Uh, they're all their own trailers. Some of them were bought in England. That yellow one was bought here in uh, France. It's a kind of a dual purpose trailer. It's a kind of a, it's a grain trailer and well I put them timber top for the silage. And it's a kind of a dump trailer. This is a 20 foot, I think it's a burning trailer it's called from England. They all have uh, up and over doors, which I like. Uh, this one then, the French then have these ones that you can open them and split them. So if you have big long stuff, there's a handle there. There's big long stuff, you can tie the two doors back and not you know, get caught in the door. This is an up and over door and this one as well. That's a Navy trailer, an English trailer. So uh, we use that one shifting some uh, manure and things or tipping small bits of cord in the shed because it's only 14 foot and uh, it's easy to tip it whether this one is 17 this yellow one is 17 and the blue one is 20 foot so uh, that was it hopefully everything goes okay we also have weights on the back of the TL I think it's better than having a counterweight on the back because it's always in the way plus having a big weight on the lift arms it's awful weight on the on the burdens of the wheels because that one is just all directly on the ground and they're actually off of Belmont then uh, there's two weeks side. so that's it uh, we'll be starting now in a half an hour and uh, it's a lovely sunny day nice breeze so hopefully we, we won't be too complete full pits but they won't be bad so that's it uh, I'm hoping they will cut a bit of silage again in the spring with the trailer more. Uh, I just like I like uh, a bit of pit silage as well. So that's all. Uh, next time you see them, you'll see them in action. Uh, we have our weighing heifers that we weigh in there about uh, two months ago now maybe. 
So they're going over to the other farm. Uh, we're just going to spread their backs for the flies. They were dosed with this bolus. Now that's for worms and fluke. It's a big lump of metal, which you see it's all in little rings and it releases every five weeks. So every five weeks uh, it'll treat them for worms. So it just says bringing them in. And uh, it works out eight euro a bolus. But uh, we're using it now for the last four years and I find it very good. Uh, it just saves a lot of time as well. And uh, that's all. You swear it's a big lump of heavy metal. But it uh, works real well. I don't know if they're in Ireland or England, but they're over here now for the last three or four years. And uh, I'm very happy with it. Works well, and the main thing, it saves a lot of time. So the first time I seen it, I thought you had to cut off this big lump of metal, but you don't, that dissolves. Um, so uh, they are a good job. The only thing now, when you, when you do give it to them, everyone that gives bonuses now, you just want to watch them for a half an hour after. A scrantron, they're all locked in with the locking barriers. Now they were too small, but when they're all locked in, you can see whichever one has coughed it up. So uh, that's all, just said I'll tell you that about that. some of our in cow peppers <coughs> uh, to dry it up with. So uh, these got these in last night. As you can see that that's the back up with. And uh, I had in the scab and I'm very happy with it. They're nice and quiet you can see. Uh, so all these should should be calved in the next 10 days. Uh, I've planned for about 60 to calve at the beginning, so it's just a nice more there's going to be nearly 80. So we've gone over the 60 now, uh, well over. So uh, that was it. So hopefully these calves are okay. We'll have a couple of, we'll have all the calves, but we have. Uh, Two prolapses now, uh, one on a limited, one on a shower, and uh, the calves and cows and all are okay. So you have to be on 100% uh, watching them now these days because uh, every day now there's five or six calves. Now we have cows as well. <coughs> Brought them back last night, so we haven't let them out today yet, and we won't let them out now for tomorrow. Just uh, if I can down. So, now that one there is a while off. She's going back. She just ran up in the trail. So that's uh, all of it. So, I don't know if you can see them. There's only three left in this group. The cab. And there's one cab. And I looked at these about two hours ago and there was nothing and now he's up sucking so that's one of them uh, what we call a quasi cow she's a half limousine and half shirley not a bad cow so there's another left wouldn't mind the stuff and Emily are the long finish from I'm tagging. Um. So, I leave her alone, she's calmed down. That's another uh, crossbed limousine, uh. Uh, which is a half Shirley, half limousine, and it's a limousine cat. <laughs> so, this is our shed. And the cows have one bunch, especially the heifers, that go out here for six or seven days, just to make sure all is okay. And they come in there 
I guess that's a small little pleasure. And uh, they come in and out. Mostly them are all heifers now. Okay, the last couple of days. So they're out here at the back of the shed. Like I said, they stay here now for five or six days and then they go on to have two more fields close to the house. And once they get about 12 or two weeks of age, the calves, then we can move them on. Uh, now this year we're calving a good lot more uh, heifers than normal as we're building them up. So we're out the bull with the bull with 60 heifers. Uh, on the first scan there was eight of them I think that showed he wasn't sure of. But uh, there was three of them was in calf and then the rest of them are they're in calf now and they're calving in uh, I think there's four of them calving around Christmas and the rest of them are calving in the spring. So <coughs> there's a nice lump of a heifer. She's lost the milk. So they all uh, come into nice cows. So a lot of heifers going into the herd is very good. Trying to keep old cows I think is a waste of time. Uh, because over here especially if they start getting uh, lame or something like that, it's hard to fatten them or do one. So, uh, that's it. It's very warm now. They're all here stuck under the tree. Uh, but, under the tree. They all get sprayed with versa treat to stop the flies, but there's still flies on them, but they're not as bad. That's our big wall. So that's it. Some of the cabin. Uh, the Shirley's is there as well, I'll show you them as well. So, like I said, I like the the cabin uh, it gets me down at the tractors. Uh, your legs a bit, your legs a bit like jelly from a lot of tractor driving. But now that I'm doing a lot of walking again in the mornings and uh, looking like cattle and shifts in cattle, it brings them back to life. So hello. So they're all going mad for the the salt licks. The minute it gets hot, they devour the salt licks. So they'll be, they'll be going off now shortly. And uh, no, I think there's 27 there. So they'll be going off shortly and I'm going when and more next Thursday. So, and then there's a few, there'll be about 15 then that will be left till, they're a bit smaller than were later, they'll be left till, uh, in the November or that, but that's the cattle for today. <sighs> so that's why I said twins. The Shirley, the Shirley collars are more prone for having twins than in the limousine. So she's a good big cow. Didn't calve on her own. Way. Come out the other night and there was four feet trying to get out at the one time. So I had to push back one lad and it was actually there are two there are two heifers. So I had to push back one to get out the other. So there's no bother. Twins are always lucky with us here. Some people say twins are I like twins. Now one year, oh, second or third year after coming we had fifteen sets of twins. Uh, last year we had five, and this is the first. There's three cows that we know of that scanned with twins. She wasn't scanned with twins. 
so the could be three or four, maybe five again this year. But like I said, limousines are from this. You don't get as many limousine twins, but you got a lot on the Charlotte. So uh, that's it. Like I said, that there are uh, two, uh, well, the limousine crossed uh, heifers. Now, if you get a male and a female, uh, the female, you can never put her back for a cow because she'll never have calves for some reason. Uh, but for two heifers, it's no bother. Or if you had two males. Now, you normally have a male and a female. Uh, most of the time, it's going to be a male or a female. And the male will always be a bigger calf as well. But I always find the, the little heifer will always come in. She just might take two or three months longer. But uh, I think twins are a great bonus. Uh, now, it's a great job if you know the cow is in carrying twins because you can feed her that little bit extra. Because uh, we have two there now when we're giving them a bit of sire every day. And uh, just that the calves will be that bit hardier and she's, well, she's feeding two instead of one. That'll look. So that's that for this week's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.